Well, it's time to see what's coming out today for our media partner, the Baltimore Banner. Baltimore County Executive John Yolshevsky presented a $5 million budget proposal last week. And Banner reporter Cody Boatler is joining us this morning to talk about what comes next. Good morning, Cody. Hey, good morning. How are you? We're doing well. So it is budget season. What do we know about uh, Baltimore County's budget proposal so far? Yeah, that's right. So late last week, County Executive Johnny Oshevsky gave his annual budget proposal. Um, he's running for Congress, and he did acknowledge it could be his final budget proposal. The uh, $5 billion budget includes uh, a bunch of things. It includes all of the funding requests that the county schools asked for. It includes $35 million for new and upgraded library buildings. It includes $6 million to the Rec and Parks budget. Uh, 11 million dollars to complete a new fire station in Catonsville, and very, very importantly, to Baltimore County residents, no tax increases on property or income taxes. And what is the county council? How did they react? Yeah, um, it has been uh, mixed, uh, which I thought was a bit of a surprise. Usually, it's it's fairly non-controversial. Um, some members of the council are saying, you know, hey, it's it's early in the process. We'll have our hearings. We'll see what we see. Uh, but a few of the members, including the council's chairman, another Democrat, uh, Izzy Patoka, has said that uh, he's he's pretty unhappy and pretty disappointed with the budget. Um, he has proposed uh, this strategy where the council may, during its hearings, propose uh, some cuts to the budget um, as a way to kind of encourage or, or push the county executive to produce a supplemental budget that moves some money around where the council wants to see it. And that's because... Uh, under the county charter, the county council can cut the executive's budget, but they can't add to it or otherwise move money around. So they would have to use these cuts to, to push the executive to shuffle money around. Okay, thank you so much, Cody. We appreciate it. And if you'd like to learn more about this story and others from the Baltimore Banner, <clears throat> head to thebaltimorebanner.com.